We begin with conference realignment. U of A President Robert Robbins is expected to officially announce Arizona's move from the Pac-12 to the Big 12 this weekend. Yeah, and ESPN is now reporting that the Big 12 has extended invitations to both Utah and ASU. Big 12 executives will vote on their acceptance during a conference call tonight. Uh, this comes as Arizona football this morning held its first practice open to the public and media for what will likely be its final season in the Pac-12 reports say Big 12 executives have already accepted Arizona into the conference. Meantime, Oregon and Washington are now members of the Big 10 conference accepting their invitations today. That means the Pac-12 will likely be left with just four teams. The Pac-12 conference has been around for more than 100 years and the last 45 have included Arizona and Arizona State as members. Yeah, but that run appears to be over with the U of A ready to jump to the, Pac uh, the Big 12. Now, just like 45 years ago, Arizona is having to coax ASU to come along. Michael Crow is really dragging his feet and isn't big on, maybe not completely sold on leaving the Pac-12 for the Big 12 um, like Arizona sounds like they are. That's Arizona Wildcats historian and author Shane Dale on ASU's reluctance to follow Arizona to the Big 12. Ironically, 45 years ago, there was a similar situation as the two Arizona universities were contemplating a switch from the WAC to the PAC. In the 1970s, Fred Snowden was building the Wildcats into a powerhouse in the Western Athletic Conference. Fred Snowden, the coach, had some up and down players uh, and, and some good ones, and the, and the WAC Conference was a uh, special competitive league, and it, it was just good. Arizona State football under head coach Frank Cush was dominating the WAC in football. When the U of A made the push to join what was then the Pac-8 for academic reasons, ASU was opposed. They eventually gave in, and the two Arizona schools joined to form the Pac-10 in 1978. Those two schools have been together since like, before World War II with the Border Conference, and then later in the WAC, and then the uh, eventually becoming the Pac-10. The Pac-10 grew to the Pac-12 in 2011, branding itself as the Conference of Champions, having won more national championships than any other conference. It's unfortunate that we're not going to have that conference anymore, that it's Arizona's built so many memories, won so many national titles in multiple sports. The one regret for Dale and most Wildcat fans? No trip to the Rose Bowl for Arizona football. There could still be the opportunity, you know, with the 12-team the playoff coming up and, you know, the Rose Bowl being one of the playoff games at some point. You know, that's still a possibility, but that's going to be a shame, yeah. And Arizona, no trips to the Rose Bowl. Arizona State's gone twice, but they haven't been for 26 years. So, yeah. you know, not a lot of great success with the Rose Bowl, but it is sad. Think of that. Just four of the Pac-12 schools will be remaining after this. Here's what we've been talking about. This this has been uh, something we've been talking about yes. all week now, yeah. anticipating, waiting day by day for this announcement to be made that's kind of inevitable at it's this It's inevitable. Point. I think it's a foregone conclusion, and, um, and we're hearing that it will likely come tomorrow from Dr. Robbins. So. All right. We'll keep everybody up. Updated. Yeah.